Well, I'm Jail Shansky. I'm a professor of public health at the University of Illinois at Chicago. I'm also affiliated uh, with the University of Chicago, the Center on Aging, and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Uh, I'm honored to be this year's uh, uh, Christofalo uh, lecturer. Now, the topic of my talk today is uh, in pursuit of the longevity dividend. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it's a phrase that I coined almost exactly 10 years ago now. The concept is basically an argument that if we could find a way to modulate or slow the biological process of aging, that society and individuals would reap huge economic and health benefits as a result of manipulating the aging process. And the logic and the rationale behind the longevity dividend actually is remarkably straightforward. And we're not the first ones to think of it. Um, it's basically an argument that that we create a set of conditions for ourselves in the modern world that allow most people to live long lives, to live past the age of 65. And that's a good thing, except there was a price that we had to pay for our extended lives. And that price was the rise of heart disease, cancer, stroke, and Alzheimer's. Uh, and so it was a set of trade-offs. So what did our modern world do, our, our world of science do? We decided to apply the public the, the public health model that was originally developed to combat infectious diseases, which is to attack one disease at a time, as if they're all independent of each other, and we applied it to chronic pain and disabling diseases. And it's worked to some extent, except we're now running out of steam. We're now getting less and less from any efforts to go after major pain and diseases. We may very well be exposing people who are saved from dying from these diseases to an elevated risk of other fatal and disabling conditions like Alzheimer's. And so we may not like what we see uh, as a result of continue, continuing to push out the envelope of survival. And so the longevity dividend uh, line of reasoning basically suggests that we need to alter our way of thinking, that we need to reconsider aging in the modern world and not apply an infectious disease model to it, but apply a new aging-related model to it that would go after the biological process of aging as the new method of improving public health. So right now I'm spending an enormous amount of time trying to get this longevity dividend concept off the ground. And what this requires is, is that we uh, try and secure funding from a large number of uh, individuals, high net worth individuals, to try to accelerate research in the field. So we work very hard to, to, to try to get a number of different organizations and individuals involved. We've succeeded to some extent. We're waiting for the first inflow of cash that will allow us to accelerate research in the field of aging. So right now, a good deal of my focus is on efforts to secure the longevity to really get this additional funding and, and uh, accelerate research.